Hello and welcome. Let's get on with it. Straight into Blender. Let me turn on the shortcut keys. And with the default cube, we will scale this. Make sure that you correctly align it in the front and the side camera view, which is the 3D viewport actually angle. And I would advise that you should have a sample or a reference image, which you can browse easily from Pinterest. You can get a variety of creative images, which you can use as a reference. Of course, I've opened it on my other laptop where I'm actually, of course, it's not identical to it, but I'm getting a rough idea of how the edges will fall. And I'll maybe make some alterations to the front and the tail lights that I see. I'm just adding in loop cuts for now, giving it a somewhat definition which I will use further for adding in the lights maybe let's see how it goes the simple shape with loop cut function now let me see bring this back a bit or let's just not get into the details yet. Let's just keep it as simple and straight-edged, <laughs> simple shape car. Now I'm adding in, using the knife tool, I'm adding in a, a boundary to the side windows. I'm going to add in another cut here. Enter, add in another one here of course I can use the inset tool and just use one cut but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way and once I'm done with the basic shape I will mirror this so that let's mirror it now for a wireframe vertex mode by clicking one on the numpad delete the vertices and now i will be adding in the mirror modifier in the x-axis of course making sure that the alignment is the same as mine which is one for the front view and three for the side view it's going to generate that scale the top a little bit inwards and already you can see the basic shape of a low poly car is already coming into play let me add in another loop actually in a cut here enter and something here as well okay I think we need to do this for the back mirror but make sure that yes the individuals are selected and uh, oops <laughs> it's getting a little crazy there yes, let's do that for the back as well i don't want to leave it as it is it's already low poly therefore we should focus on the details that can really upgrade whatever low poly model that we are working on a cut here and another cut at the bottom as well enter and now with the face select you can go as you can either go from here which is the same as extrude but of course making sure that the individual origins has been selected extrude does the same function which is the shortcut key for this Holding in shift decreases the increments. Now for the front, I'm just going to simply extrude this inwards. Let's see what we do for the back. 
uh, let's add in the bumpers extrude scale a little bit out and then extrude again or scale it a bit more extrude the back bumper i want it to be a little bit smaller the front i'm going to maybe increase it slightly more than one at the back extrude and all right now let's add in the door handles just by duplicating this uh, face bringing it up with the shift key making it more perfect we don't want it to overlap it's extrude and bring it out let's duplicate this again for the side mirrors scale it down in the y well, let's adjust it where do we want our side mirror which is of course automatically mirroring itself on the other side extrude scale extrude again and extrude again for scale this a bit down to give it more of a side mirror look select the both of these faces inset and extrude a little bit inwards i'm good with this okay i'm satisfied now let's add in our tires 16 vertices because we don't want it to be very high definition but the problem that occurs is i'm showing it to you because since i'm already in edit mode that means this is the same as the object which we are in therefore you'll see the mesh is acting weird because the mirror modifier is applied hasn't been applied but it's still actively being used by the object therefore we're going to delete this and remember whenever you're importing in an object make sure that you are not in edit mode which will actually join those objects so for now let's start with i'm going to use this to duplicate it and as an indicator which might be here or should i just bring it back i think i'll keep it there extrude a little bit it's going to show on the other side now i'm going to add in the front lights and starting with the indicator slightly i'm going to slim it down then with the edge select i'm thinking i'm going to extrude for the lights in the x-axis something about here and now i'm going to add in a thickness to this by extrude yep now i'll be adding in the grill i'll duplicate this bring it all the way here course i've already applied the clipping that means it will not overlap with each other i'm going to just scale it in the x-axis and there we have the grill very thin grill let's just bring it back and give it a little bit more of a definition but not more than the headlights now We'll be going for the tail lights again the same thing with the indicator duplicate this face scale it down do i need let's see if i keep it at this thickness let's scale it no I... i'm going to keep it narrow let's bring it down for the tail lights i'm going to keep it as a separate two lights I'm going to duplicate this something here and with the edge select or oh, let's just scale it up a bit and with these two selected we are going to extrude uh, since it's almost in the face of the other therefore selection issues a little bit but nevertheless let's, now let's click this and extrude 
think that will do and we have our rough body as well as some little details ready now we will be adding in tile let's apply the mirror so we can alter if required the mesh now we're missing the tires now we'll be adding in the tires of course not in edit mode in object mode cylinders let's rotate this on the y by 90 degrees let's position this where do we want our tires of course the reference images that i've seen they tend to use very small tires which i will not be going for I'm going for something moderate so to say let's bring this in let's duplicate this and we're gonna bring it for the rear wheel three for the side view now these cylinders i will use them as a boolean cut for which first i'm gonna join these two because then I'll be mirroring this on the other side. Because if I just do it at the moment, the active wheel that's selected is only going to be mirrored. You can see if I use the reference, only one tire is being mirrored because the active one. So I'm going to join both of these tires. And now I'm going to add in the mirror. The reference is this. And great now for the next step we need to have an add-on which is a free add-on already in built in the software it's called bool tool i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to use this as a cutter now going in here add-ons bool that's the activation that's the tool that you need to activate and this is the difference function which we will use and control minus and we get our cut where we'll be placing in our tires now i want to scale this down a bit but you see the origin point is all focused on that last tire so what i'll do i'll separate all of these as individual uh individual objects and i'm going to change the 3d cursor to the center of their mass which is the same as center of there the other option that i've used it's because it's, it's the same object in shape so now if we scale this in individual origins it's going to scale it uniformly and that's what i was looking for perfect because i needed these as a reference i don't want to model them again therefore initially i duplicated the tires and the original size was used to create the cut and the second set was slightly reduced in size so that they were the actual tires now we're just adding in some minor details to the tires which is basically the rims with a simple inset and extrude function and now we'll be shading in our car let's see of course a low poly we will be using very simple colors let's go for the tires first let's bring it to a somewhat dark gray blackish tone and of course we'll be adding in we'll select these faces only the rims making sure that none of the other faces are selected and add in a new material to this and call this the rim and we'll go over something of a metallic grayish whitish tone as per your liking totally your choice of course the yeah, eyes so you have to assign this now the material has been assigned i'm going to keep it with this and let's go in now we can access all the mesh because we applied the mirror modifier I shouldn't be selecting in the windows because in the first it's going to change the color of the entire car therefore I'm not going to call it the windscreen I'm going to change that to let's say maybe something like the body and I'm going to select 
with the selected faces i'm going to add a new material and that's what i'm going to call the mirrors or the windscreen i'm going to bring it up to something of a light bluish tone maybe that's too light we we'll bring it up a little bit assign i'm happy with this okay now let's go for the let's go for the, the let's go for the side mirrors yes let's select on each side and assign the same blue color that we've just created now we'll be going in for the grill which is going to be a grayish tone the bumper is going to be something similar as well but a little bit darker for now the grill we're going to bring it down to something something of this sort I'm happy with that let's select all the faces on on the front bumper all these faces as well as that side of the face as well these little details add up to a beautiful model therefore make sure that you don't skip any of these faces even though you might think that might not be covered but it's the best practice now let's add in a new material and call it the bumper for this we're going to go for a darker gray tone and assign this let's see yes okay now uh, for the headlights let's call because the front lights and the tail lights are going to be of a different color so i'm going to name them separately let's keep it to a yellowish tone for the indicator we might use a yellow if if uh if it doesn't match very well we might go for an orange light orange -ish. for the tail lights we'll be going in for the red color assign that now for the indicators for now i'm just going to select the front face as well as this add in a new material call it the indicator let's go for a yellowish tone darker yellowish actually or a bright yellow let's select these as well assign them no oops i assigned the body material to this so always be careful with this now with the indicator selected assign and um, i'm going to keep it to orange that looks better that looks better to me but of course it's to your liking now the handles i'm just going to go for the same material that i've used for pump pumper just assign this and now for the main body which we can go for whatever color you prefer i'm gonna prefer something you can go in for a blue maybe okay and let's re preview the material and there you have it your first low poly car all set and ready now we're gonna duplicate this and from this sedan we're gonna call we're gonna create a station wagon first and we'll see the third which we can alter of course we're going to separate the material which is linked from this and vary the colors and maybe the brightness of the red as well three identical cars just by altering the colors you can fill in your scene if that's what you're going for Let's bring the green one ahead and let me show you how easily you can just select these edges and make sure that you select all of these so 
let's say the cuts that you have the simple this step is going to be now let's extrude this to something here and that's your station wagon and now let's alter a little bit with the red low poly car that i have and for this i'm going to be going into edit mode and i'm going to delete these faces and turn this into a convertible low poly car let's see how that goes select all these faces this one as well so as this one and these now i'm just going to delete those off and gonna delete these off as well yep and we can see the inside of our car here in this one since it's a convertible we'll be adding in some seats as well as a steering wheel you can do the same for the other cars as well in case if you want to make an animation where the doors are going to be opened while accessing the car but of course i'm going to keep it to simple and low poly and only for the convertible i'm going to create the seats let's scale this up to cover the tires let's bring it up a little bit so that the tires are not seen anymore okay Is adjusting and fitting in the seats to cover. I'm going to add in a loop cut, which will basically, of course, if you click twice G, you can move the loop cut in the existing sides. I'm going to extrude this up, scale this down in the Y axis scale this face uh, because I extruded it therefore duplicated the shape now let's do that again and now scale it in the y-axis and bring it back a little bit of course the height you can adjust to your liking and now I'm gonna add in additional loop cuts which Mm, I'm not going to separate the seats. I'm just going to add straight all the loop cuts together. And I'm going to bevel these and extrude it a little bit inwards, of course, making sure the individual origin is activated. I don't want to bevel all of those, I noticed. Therefore, I'm just going to select the front face and the top face. Now I'm going to bevel and extrude. And I, we can't see much because of the, because there is no color applied to this object. Which is why I'm going to apply the scale and I'm going to go into the shading tab. And I'm going to add in a brown texture giving it a fabric or a leather feels to it. Just by increasing the darkness, and you can see the beveled edges clearly. So, there you have it your convertible, your station wagon, as well as your saloon is ready. Now, we'll be adding oops, yes, we'll be adding in the steering wheel. Let's rotate this. Tilt it a little bit more manually. Of course, you can go in adding in more details for the steering wheel, which is insides of it. I'm going to keep it as if the Flintstone style, straight one object. Bring it down by inset and extruding it something of this sort. Let's rotate this a little bit more 
it's a little bit too straight I think that'll do now let's add in the material which is a gray stone to it call it the steering okay there you have it all three cards ready thank you for watching stay tuned doodles